comment in the comment feed. Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. First and foremost, I want to thank all of you for helping me hit 20,000 subs. That is super incredible. It's taken me forever, I know. But I did just release a really cool compilation video that was sent to me by a fan. And it just kind of walks us through a little bit that we've been through in the last five years. So I hope you liked that one. And tonight I'm bringing you an oldie but a goodie, a basic care video on Grandma Stola Pulcher Peas. This is a beautiful species that I particularly enjoy and I still try to throw a basic care video in anytime I can. So let's just do this. This is a beautiful juvenile specimen and you can see it's already quite a bit bigger than some of the tiniest dwarf species. The common name for this animal is the Chaco Golden Knee, and they are indigenous to South America, particularly in Argentina and Paraguay. They hail from warm, dry, rainy areas, and I like to keep them fairly warm. I would say high 70s to low 80s, and I like to keep them a little bit drier than a lot of tropical species, but I do mist one end of their enclosure. One thing that is unique about this species, other than the beautiful coloration, is how large their chelicerae are. Their prosoma is actually raised up because of how large their chelicerae are to house such big fangs. Let's take a look at a larger specimen. So this is a larger specimen and you can see this animal is already nearly the size of my hand. Well, I mean, she is the size of my hand. Granted, I don't have very large hands. She still has a lot of growing to do because this is one of the larger species of New World because they top out at about eight and a half inches, which is pretty freaking giant. That's like, yeah, I couldn't hold a tarantula that large. Um, it just, yeah, there'd be no way. The females do grow larger than the males and they live longer as well. Their lifespans can be 20 years plus with the males passing away after they mature at about five to six years. Another exciting thing is that these animals do produce large egg sacs, primarily because the females can get so big, and they can reproduce over 500 slings. These large egg sacs hatch in about six weeks, depending on temperatures. So not only is this a beautiful animal, which is handleable. The females have a really long, wonderful lifespan and they are very prolific. So this is an impressive display animal and they make a wonderful pet and or education animal as well. I hope you liked this basic care video. Let me know what animal you would like to see me showcase next. And as always, if you have any questions about how to care for this species, leave a message in the comment feed below, or of course, contact me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or email me at deadlytarantulagirl at yahoo.com. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you again soon.